Hey everybody, Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So in the recent spans of severe weather, it's been kind of hard to fit other videos in here and there. I'm going to try to do that as efficiently as I can without neglecting any updates here. So that being said, members will be seeing these videos first. If you want to be a member, link is in the description. But this is our summer outlook here. And we're gonna go ahead and cover the current probabilities that we have. Keep in mind that this is still pretty far off. And then also there will be other outlooks to come on the channel as we push further along. Remember, summer starts around the middle of September and we're still in April. So that being said, make sure you're hitting that like button and have that notification bell on to be updated on future outlooks and much more. But that being said here, Based off what I'm seeing on this current outlook, this is a very large 50 to 60 percentile region of above average temperature probability. And this is mainly going to be centered out towards the western half of the U.S. So what that tells me off the board here to anyone that doesn't quite know what I'm talking about here, this is what you would call a positive PNA. So this basically means that the temperatures are more likely to be warmer out to the west than they are to the east. Now, keep in mind that there is a very similar area towards the northeast, but it's a much smaller area. The rest of the eastern half of the U.S. is going to be in that 40 to 50 percentile range. So it's not like it's going to be too dissimilar to this, but not quite as not quite as hot as what we can expect here. And it can get pretty hot, especially towards the southwest. But fact of the matter is. Across the board for the entire lower 48, we're expecting a pretty warm summer here. Only area in the lower 48 that really shows that equal chance of precip right now is over towards the most fur the further most reaches of the northern U.S. And that's towards North Dakota, parts of Minnesota, parts of South Dakota, and also Montana here. Now, an interesting thing about this map here is we're looking at Alaska here towards the southwest part of the state here. We're looking at below average temperature chances popping up here. So we have a 33 to 40 and even a 40 to 50 percent chance of below average temperatures here for the season. And I note that is interesting because usually sometimes our storm track will be over this region here. So showers and storms could be still pretty active across the country throughout the entire season. We'll have to see how things go. And then, of course, the wild card in a lot of this also is hurricane season. So we'll be discussing that in the meantime as well. And further updates will be on that outlook as they come in here. Now, an interesting thing to make note of here as we look at the precipitation outlook for the season. Look at that. What I tell you. Right towards the west where we had that below average chance of temperatures here look at where the precip is where we have that increased chance of 40 per, to 50 percent <clears throat> so pretty much correlates with that almost perfectly and like i said we'll get a look at that upper level wind pattern in a minute now keep in mind this isn't going to pretty much tell the story for every day of the 90 day period in fact it's far from that but the fact in the matter is that signal kind of correlates pretty well with this historically at least We'll see if this does verify because remember, we're still pretty far out and things can change pretty quickly. But what I've made note of with this as well is the signal that you obviously see over here towards the east. The east is definitely a little bit more active, wetter than average in, in regards to precip here with an increased focus over towards the mid-Atlantic and the southeast in particular. So shower and storm activity will be pretty rampant. Do expect some pop-up thunderstorms, of course, during the summer. Probably one of my favorite things, honestly, personally. So during the summertime, expect some sunny afternoons and then maybe a few storms to pop up here and there. A few storm systems still being possible as well. We'll have to see how the severe weather threat kind of verifies beyond that point. Now, very interesting to see how dry we are on the opposite end of the spectrum here out towards the Rockies in particular. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure some of these guys are happy to see this area here because Throughout all of winter and a good portion of spring, this area has been slammed with winter storms, severe weather events, and we're expecting a few more, but the frequency does seem like it's going to slow a good bit as time goes on here. Like I said, another wild card for the east too, in particular, will be hurricane season. We are expecting an above average season 
and depending on how things pan out with this especially towards the latter months especially we get towards august where hurricane season becomes more active we may see this verify or maybe even get upgraded as time goes on here like i said we're still pretty far out so things can change pretty quickly so that's what our outlooks are looking like and then as we look at our upper air patterns and also the oscillations here which are going to be a key player for what's to come here of course we're looking at the one month average here so this isn't going to tell the story for every day or every week etc but mainly seeing a positive a positive arctic oscillation and north atlantic oscillation to go along with it to start out with so this is through the month of may as we go to the following month here we're mainly staying above average here so with this increased pressure there could be a couple of cold blasts to sneak in for the month of june here this is an indicator there these aren't going to be extreme cold air events obviously but this could help increase the shower and storm activity for the month of june now this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting as we get into july this is where we start to get that dry than average pattern here you see how this little um this little area right here contour lines into pushing up that's a ridge coming into place usually a good sign of fair weather here we still have to look out for smaller troughs along this section and maybe on the downstream here we might have to look out for shower and storm activity and this is what's going to help increase that increased rainfall set up over here towards the eastern half of the u.s and we'll continue to see that as we get into august here we can even take a look at september and we see pretty much a similar thing going on here it looks like at that point the ridge does weaken over the southwest and we do get more of a zonal pattern so it'll be interesting to see how things pan out and then beyond that point of course we're starting to get more towards into fall but we'll cross that threshold with fall, into fall when we get there but this is what we're looking like as far as the temperature outlooks are concerned this is the month of may we're seeing above average temperatures mainly going to be settled across the northern tier of the u.s especially over towards the northeast great lakes included and we'll move to the following month here this is where we're expecting that a little bit of a cool down to happen over here towards the west we did talk about this briefly occurring here as we headed into the middle part of may and the may outlook and we're seeing a further signal of that as we get into june here as we get into july that's when we start to see that ridge begin to build and we kind of level off a little bit towards the eastern half of the u.s especially towards the southeast and then from that point as we head in august we continue to see that positive PNA continue to build over here. So if we were to sneak into September, we finally start to see that, of course, break. But definitely seeing a lot of signals that kind of verify the outlooks that we have right now. Of course, keep in mind, this is prone to changing pretty quickly. So that being said, let's go ahead and finally take a look at what our precipitation is looking like. May looks like it's, of course, pretty active over here across the eastern half of the or the southeastern half of the u.s here then of course towards the middle part of the country severe weather season is running rampant we're going to be at the time of me making this video there's actually five days of slight risk or beyond that we may be streaming for so this is not surprising to me at all that pattern is going to be pretty persistent as we go into may then beyond that point this is where things start to change a little bit we start to see an increased amount of activity over here towards mid-atlantic the ohio valley and then of course the midwest still see the northwest looking pretty active as well but watch how things kind of flip a little bit as we head towards june look at that back to the southeast we have the northeast mid-atlantic involved but out towards the west this is where that ridge starts to build up and we start to get more of that dry weather then to follow up it's pretty much the same thing as we head into august as well we can see also an indicator of maybe a couple of tropical, tropical systems already trying to maybe rear their ugly heads over here through the month of august and maybe cause increased precip over towards the southeast now this is just a theory of mine i'm not saying that that's exactly what's going to happen but I, f I do kind of find it interesting to see that we have this little track that's almost similar to a tropical system it would it's kind of funny to me but it's really not because especially if you live in florida could be a big deal this year given the hurricane outlook which you can check in the top right by hand corner by the way weird noises per occurred in my room but this is pretty much what the summer outlook is going to be like. We'll sneak into September where, like I said before, we kind of end up in a more of a zonal pattern here. And this is where we start to see things kind of level out, 
could be a drier month across the central part of the U.S. and for a larger part of the U.S. in general. Of course, like I said, wild card is usually hurricane season, so I'll have to see how things pan out there. But just a quick update for an outlook for the, the uh, summer season. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and make sure you have that notification bell on for fur or, uh, future updates on further videos, updates, streams, and more. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome rest of your day or evening whenever you do see this. Take care and have a good rest of your night. It's been Tyre Metalhead Weatherman signing off.